Hi, I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a compound strength circuit workout. At the end of each circuit, we'll do a little cardio blast to bump your heart rate up and really burn some fat during this workout. So the compound muscle work is going to build lean muscle, which will maintain and increase your metabolism over time. And then those little bursts are just going to add a little more calorie burn to this workout. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's start marching and warming up. Knees up. Big arms. Abs tight. Control the core. Twist it out in front. Pull those abs tight here. Feel the lower ab work as that knee comes up. And arms forward and back. Heels up and back. Front of the leg stretching, the back of the leg working here. Kick out and reach. Get the back of the leg stretching. Front of the leg working. Go arms out and in. That's tight here. Tap it out. Good. Now heels to the front. Get the back of the leg stretch. Warming up those shoulders. Okay, so. Four compound moves, and then we follow that with a hit cardio blast, a low impact. So we're not gonna hurt your joints here. I'm gonna grab my heavier weight to start. We're gonna start with a side lunge deadlift. So we'll step out to your right, side lunge, come up into a deadlift. Ready? Here we go. Do your lunge, come on up, deadlift. Down and up, step to the other side. Hips back here, a little bend in your knee, nice flat back, remember? Safety cues on these deadlifts. Drive those hips back, weight in your heels. Other side, thigh working, glutes, it's your bum. We'll get one more on this side than the other. Maybe not, because I think I'm gonna just throw on a side lunge here. Get us balanced. Good. Okay. Trading my heavy weight in for some medium weight. I'm going to go to a front raise to a high row. So, front raise, high row. Ready? Here we go. Control this weight. So, lifting to the front, keep the shoulders down. And then when you row, again, shoulders down. Tendency to want to lift your shoulders up to your neck. Your neck wants to jump in and help. All that's going to do is put the strain where we don't need it. This is hard. Lifting up to the front here. Long levers. In other words, the weight is far away from the body in that lift. Weighs a lot more than the actual dumbbell weight. Because gravity is pulling on your arms too. So physics. You have all of that space that gravity is pulling on. Makes it heavy. Okay, we're gonna take that deadlift. We're gonna come down in the deadlift, come on up, do your front raise, okay? Deep breath. Here we go. Taking lower body combinations, upper body combinations, and then upper and lower body combinations. So lots of ways to make compound moves, which just means you work more than one muscle group at a time. When you do that, Maybe you've already noticed your heart rate comes up. And that heart rate is going to be in the low end of your cardio, most likely. If you're working out a while, maybe a little higher if you're just starting out. But your heart gets conditioned. We are in that fat burn zone, which is that lower end of your cardio, cardio zone. So we can talk about that too. Okay, going back to those side lunges, we're going to put the weight in front as we come up. So weight to the side, come on up, high row, and then we'll go the other way. All right, here we go, right side. Come on up, do your high row, other side. 
So I know I say it often in my videos, but I'm all often asked, what is your fart, fart, <laughs> fat burning zone? Okay, so your fat burning zone, you take 220 minus your age, and you get a number. Take that number, multiply it by 0.65 and 0.85. That's gonna give you a low and a higher number, that's a range. That's where you burn fat and your heartbeat is in that range. When it's in the lower end of that range, and rest. When it's in the lower end of that range, you actually burn more fat percentage-wise, so the calories you're burning are more fat calories. Okay, we're gonna skate and punch. So, step to your right, punch. Get low in this if you can, and incorporate more muscles. Because the knees bother you, you stay up here, okay? Pick where you wanna be. So we're gonna do 30 seconds. We're gonna rest. And then we're gonna go 20 seconds, same move. So, feeling the move here, getting the body ready, all the muscles awake. So really hit this hard for 20 seconds. So I want you to go 100% here. It's 20 seconds. Give it all you've got, okay? Deep breath. Got a rest coming. Step to your right. Here we go. Let's move. Punch, punch. Just like that. Come on. Get low if you can. Abs are tight. Come on. Five seconds left. You can do it. And rest. Okay. All right. So, 30 second rest. Let me cue you up for your next circuit. The lower body combination first. You got two options. You can do a rear leg raise, step to a curtsy, or we'll go squat up, deeper curtsy. Okay? So, right here. Not too deep, you need to protect your knees. Otherwise, come with me. Ready? Here we go. So it's squat over a leg raise, curtsy back. Squat, curtsy back. I'll do one with the modification. Rear raise, curtsy back. Come up. Rear raise, curtsy back. And up, good. Just go at the same pace. Going these squats in the deeper curtsies. Now come with me. I'm going to curtsy on the other side. Let's balance this out. There we go. Okay. I'm going to trade my weight in now for a medium weight. Going to an upper body combination here. I'm going to hammer curl, press. Okay, here we go. Elbows in, palms face each other. Control this move. Don't drop the weight here, control it down. So lift, push, resist, resist. Good, there's JD. So he leaves us alone enough that we can finish this workout. Oh good, he's going upstairs. Hi Jake. Oh, he heard me. Stopped on the stairs. Okay, hopefully it stays up there. And rest. All right. Shaking it out with a squat to a press. So, you're going to squat, press, or leg raise, press. Take the leg raise and use that instead of the squat. Here we go. Squat. Press, squat, press, just like that. Nice and slow. Feel the shoulders burn. You know what I like to say? When your shoulders look good, everything looks good. It's burning if it gets too heavy, lighten your weight, or put the weight down. Just pushing your hands overhead if you're a beginner. Gravity might be enough. Feel those shoulders working. Whew. All right, roll them up. Luckily, we're not going over our head with this one. We've got a curtsy, 
as you curtsy, you're gonna curl. So either deep or just tap back. So curl deep or tap back. Right leg, here we go. It's a curl. Now in this curtsy, think about your elbows. Keep them at your waist. Tends you don't want to come out here. Takes it out of your bicep. I want you to keep those elbows in, isolating that bicep. The glute work. Strength and conditioning with compound, our favorite way to exercise. Throw in that hip cardio, that little bonus. And then rest. Okay, putting the weight down. Keep your head above your heart. You're putting your weight down, being out from the floor. Heart is up there. You don't want to put the head below it. Soccer kicks. We'll kick with your right leg first. Ready? Kick. Like you're kicking a soccer ball. I want you to put power behind this. This is our 30 second. We're gonna learn the move. We're gonna power move. And then for the 20 seconds, we'll bust it out. Okay? transitioning to that wide deadlift. We're going to squat as you come up, press, and do the tricep. So, all the way down if you can, or a little bend. That little bend won't hurt your knees, but it'll activate the muscles we want to wake up. And even if you're not going deep in these moves, any activation is a positive thing. And you never know, depending on why you have pain in the lower body, 
often strengthening the muscles really helps. You know, 100% better, but it does help. And it's good. All right, sticking with my heavy weight. Grab my other one, keeping my head above my heart. Always. Toes are forward here. You're gonna hinge, but we're gonna go to your right, flat back, come up, rotate. Ready? Hinge it down, Just drive those hips back. Other side, drive the hips back, feel the obliques work. Some ab work sprinkled in here the rest of the workout. When you do compound moves that we've been doing the entire workout, you are getting core, you're getting abs because especially the upper lower at the same time, that core needs to really be stable. Those muscles are working. We'll try and get one more each side. Down and up. Let's go to the other side. Down and up. All right, weight down. Cardio moves. Let's punch with the heel. Punch with the heel. <laughs> this is not a good one to do when Jake's right behind me, is it? Right arm, ready? Here we go. Punch with the heel. Punch with the heel. Twist with this. Feel the abs. Feel the hamstring and glute work. Just curl in the back. You're doing a hamstring curl. Bring that hamstring. A little more. And rest. Ready to really pour it on. This is a tough move. So I'm not going to go too much faster because I want to make sure I'm getting all the strength work too. I'm just going to try and pick it up just a little bit. Ready? Right arm. Here we go. Punch. Punch. One more seconds. Come on. Nice work. All right, grab some water if you need it. We are more than halfway through this workout. I shouldn't say that. We're almost halfway through this workout. Let's go ahead with one weight in your right hand. We're going to lunge back or raise the leg. So let's lunge, come up, lean into an oblique, or rear lunge, lift, lean in the oblique. Okay, here we go. Stand on one side. Lunging, driving up, over, and up. Shoulders and chest are up. Keep weight in your back toe if you're doing this for your lunge. Front heel and back toe. Nothing's in this front knee. It's all about the back leg. Bringing you down. Front foot drives you up. There you go. This is your waistline, your obliques. Turn up a lot in my videos. Couple schools of thought on obliques. I love working obliques, so I'm going to stick to that school of thought because I like having that strong core. Deep breath, and you're not going to get big and have big muscles ripping unless you're using super heavy weight. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. Rear lunge and lean. When you challenge yourself with Heavier weights, and I need to do this with a 50 pound dumbbell. I was looking to bulk, but this is a 12 pound dumbbell. And all this does is increase the intensity. So I work a little harder. What does that translate to? Higher heart rate, which equals burning fat. But not only that, by doing the strength work, you end up having what we call an afterburn. So you're gonna burn more calories per hour for the next few hours. So that's kind of your bonus that you get. Okay, trading it in for one of my, what? my medium weights, right? I'm gonna swing this weight back, discus. Think about discus. Come up, right knee, crunch. Here we go. Twist the abs tight, crunch it. Pull them in. Nice and strong, suck it in right there. Pull right here. Pull that lower ab tight. All 
this rotation is taking on that inner oblique, not the outer oblique. So now, we're working inner. I'll show you where that is in a minute. We're getting this wonderful doggy back here. He is the best. A lot of work. I love him. Uh, all right. Inner obliques, right in here. So you have your ab muscles, inner obliques are in this range, outer obliques are right there. So think about this here, you're gonna feel it. Here we go. Bring it up, crunch it. All those muscles working. It's really a great thing. It's not always fun to start a workout. I know, it's not fun for me to force myself sometimes, but it sure is fun to finish one. That's how do you feel? Pretty good, right? Your body wants to move. We've created all of these conveniences that really take away from what your body needs to be healthy. All right, nice job. We are punching and kicking, down, and kick to the front. We'll punch with your right arm first, so left leg kicks. 30 seconds on the clock, here we go. Abs are tight. So as you kick to the front, you're working that same muscle we just worked. Only this is what we call a faster twitch move, right? This muscle has to work fast. A little less than that, a little more than it did when we crunched. A little faster, I should say. Just changing the speed. If you work muscles, it makes them respond. It makes them work a little hard. We are busy ladies, right? So anything that can compact our work, get us more bang for the buck, like this compound work that we're doing now, is so worth it, right? Because we're getting a major workout in a fairly short amount of time. Here we go, punch and kick. You don't have to do 40 minute workouts, hour workouts, half hour, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, do something. And there are, videos on this channel to all those lengths. So you can buy 10, 15, 20 minute videos, 30, 40, 45, okay? And so you don't have to dedicate this huge amount of time to start an exercise program. You just need to be consistent. All right, I'm gonna take my heavy weight with a curtsy lunge to a deadlift. So go with your right leg first. You're gonna go curtsy here or here. Come on up, deadlift, all right? And go the other side, right leg moves. There we go, curtsy. Whew. Are you glistening yet? I am glistening. It was chilly in here when I started. I just think that's pretty cool how your body really manufactures heat, all right? It's getting nice and warm. Finish the curtsy. I'm gonna finish the deadlift. <laughs> Let's do another curtsy. I'm gonna balance it. Sorry. I just like things to be balanced. Okay, going to a row, fly. Row, fly. Think about weighting your heels here. Drive your hips back. Slight bend in the knees. I'm really challenging myself with this weight. You need to lighten your weight. Lighten your weight. We're gonna do five reps. We're gonna stand. Give our back just a little rest and come back down. Ready? Stand it up, take a breath. Back down, here we go. See how I'm wiggling my toes up the ground right there? I can literally lift them off the ground as I'm driving that weight through my heels. This is five here. Let's do one more, come on. Nice work, okay, Ugh, really good. Okay, deadlift to a fly. I am going to lighten my weight to my medium weight for my flies. That was a challenge, not that, I'm not up to a challenge, but I wanna finish all these reps. So, here we go. Deadlift down, do a fly. Come on up, 
Drive it into that, weight in your heels. Slight bend in your knees, and up. Check your form, don't rush these. Trust me, this workout, you're getting plenty of reps on every muscle in your body. Left me a little present here behind my foot. It's a little jibo. I'll touch it though. You might say, no, I don't touch my don't touch my stuff. Let's see if we can give it to him here. Finish up with me. Come on. And rest. We go back. Alright. Let's go to curtsy row. So I'm gonna use my heavy weight and challenge myself. Row in the curtsy. Here we go. Curtsy down, row, and up. Or tap back, row, and up. Pick which one works for you. Anytime you have pain, that is your body talking to you and saying, we got a problem. So you've heard no pain, no gain. That is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Pain means something's not right, okay? So do not work through pain. If you have something that's persistent, doesn't go away with rest. See your doctor. And up, and we're gonna rest there. Okay, cardio is up. Weight down. How's your breathing? How's your heart rate? I'm in the 130s. It's perfect. Low range of my cardio. Forward and back, hamstring curl. Right leg moves first. Here we go. Pull. Yeah, I've got two more left, two more rounds. Two more circuits. Ooh. How you doing? 30 second low impact doesn't mean it's low, not that it's low intensity. The intensity is high. And I bumped my heart rate up just a tad more there. Let's see if I can do even more, 132 right now. So let's go fast here, really pull. Right leg first, three, two, one, here we go. Pull, let's move, and I have a little bounce. And my heart rate will register any different this quickly, but we'll see. I think it takes your rate about every 10 seconds. This my watch does, come on, there's your rest. Let's see. Whoa! That's awesome. 145. Cool. See the difference? That's great. Okay. I'm going to use our chair for this next one. Grab your chair. You can use the arm of the couch. Over a table, like a coffee table or something. We're going to do what's called a bird dog. Pose. Arm and leg, same side. So using the same arm as leg. We're going to pull the outside with the punch. Kick back. Put the foot kick back. Here we go. Crunch it, take it back. Now my standing leg is a little bit bent, so I'm not blocking my knee. When you block your knee, you really can restrict blood flow. Do not want to do that. So see the slight bend, I hope you can see it. That way down here, right? But I do have that bend. And my weight is in my heel. At 145, that makes me really happy that I kept my heart rate up like that. That's cool. Now, if your heart rate's higher, you're tracking your heart rate and it's higher than mine, and maybe you're just starting out. I've been doing this a long time, okay? It takes a long time for that cardio conditioning. And it'll happen. A month, two months in, you're going to notice your heart rate's much lower. So, if it's higher than mine, you're either younger than me, because I'm 59, so I take 220 minus 59, you may take 220 minus 40, which creates a different starting number to multiply by 0.65 and 0.85. So lots of variables in heart rate. The main thing is to know your range and stay in that range. So if you're above the range, if you're above it, you need to slow it down, back off the work a little bit, and maybe lighten your weight, whatever it takes, to make the intensity a little less and stay in that cardio range. And rest. Okay, that's it for the chair. Let's move it off to the side. 
We're going to a cross punch and a crunch. I'm going to go with my medium weight. So, right arm. I'm going to cross, come in, left knee, crunch. All right, here we go. Same side. Punch. Now, this is strength, so control the weight. Push, pull. Push, pull. Crunch. Don't rush this. Ass tight. Glutes tight. So, glute. Ab. Some areas we like to work. A lot of attention right here. Feel it? Feel it. I feel it. This weight's getting heavy. I have a client who says that to me. This weight's getting heavy. Like, yep. It's supposed to. Because obviously you do more and more work with your muscles, they get more and more tired. And the goal truly is by the end to be struggling. Like that weight should be drawing you down. And if it's not, so if you're doing this and at the end of these punches with this arm, you feel like you could do another 30 seconds, maybe it's time to think about increasing your weight. I promise you won't get bulky. Seriously have to lift heavy, heavy weight, but you can increase the intensity, increase the benefit, increase the results, but making sure that your weight is heavy enough, that you're feeling it, but not too heavy, that you can't do it. So that changes, you can imagine, as you get more fit. So if you're getting to the point where your weights are, if you're doing this a while, your weights are not very heavy, it is time to start to find some heavier weight. All right. Not a lot of time to catch our breath here. Bicycle twist, 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 twist. Ready? Here we go. Twist it out. Abs are tight. Pull them tight. So all of this work on these abs. And a little bit more. In the final circuit, we're going to hit the mat. Abs are tight. Pull them tight. If you truly cannot get down to the mat, and I know there are a lot of reasons why that's, that's true, you can stop after the circuit, but if you want you to take a moment and stretch, pop to my stretch playlist. There's a nice stretch over there called a the signature stretch that is perfect for after this workout. Seven minutes. So as soon as we're done this cardio, if you need to not do the mat work, jump over and do the stretch, okay? And keep coming back, because before you know it, you'll be getting down that mat. Here we go, twist, come on, twist. So 20 seconds, smooth, make it count. Next one, I'm not gonna lie, this is a challenge. 
You can do this on your knees. Okay, we're in a plank. Twist. Come down to the other side. Or the more advanced, come on up. Twist. Hands down. Twist. Now, I want you to be nice and flat here. Okay? If you feel like you're up like this, you're not getting out. Okay? It is better to be right here and make those abs obliques and core work for it. Right? Now I am nursing a bad back. Any of you know that? Clunky brace on right now. So I may need to modify this down to my knee to protect my back because I want to show up again tomorrow. And the day after that, and the day after that. All right, bring it on around. This is where we're going to use that one heavy weight. We'll tie it all together here. This is a bit of a stretch, but also back and shoulders. Here we go. Overhead, arms stay fairly straight. Up, pull the abs tight. Pull the abs work. Pull them tight. A little bit of a stretch on the back of the body. Lower back, hamstrings. Stay with me, come on. We are almost there. We've got our cardio blast. And then we have a nice stretch. And you have done good things for yourself. Because why? <laughs> I say it all the time. You're worth it. Because it's true. Too far over. You can't be good for everybody else unless you take care of yourself. So don't feel like it's being selfish. Come on up for a mountain climber. Ready? Here we go. Knees up. You can run these if you like. They're just starting out. Crunch the knee. Crunch the knee. Not as cardio intense, but you're getting that lower ab there. You can bring it up. Run this out. Come on up with me. Going fairly slow, keeping one foot on the floor at all times, which is how we make this low impact. High impact is when you jump and you lift your feet off the floor. So keeping one on the floor at all times takes that impact up. Ready to go one more time, 20 seconds. Now, if you're capable, I want you to run it, all right? If not, stay with me. Make this low impact. For me, this is great because of my back. Pick your exercises, not by what other people are doing. Exercise for yourself. You don't need to impress anybody. You don't need to impress me. I get impressed by you showing up. Whatever you can do, you do it, and you're worth it, and you get better and better. So, I just encourage you to keep showing up. All right, let's come on around. Quick stretch, take a deep breath. Exhale, roll it down. Straighten your arms up over your head, kick out your legs. I want you to flex your feet here. A couple of deep breaths, feeling great. Bring your knees in. Yeah, let's rock back and forth on that lower back. And we'll put one foot down the other leg. Up it goes. Stretching the back of the hamstring, back of the leg, hamstring area. And in, put the leg down, bring this knee across. And once you're here, take this other arm. Reach away, palm up, and relax your shoulder. Feel it. Intense stretch. Bicep, bring your shoulder into your chest. Alright. Just one more time, arms over your head. Stretch out the legs. Do a body check here. If you feel on the side you just stretch, it feels a little different. It should. Let's go and fix it with this side. Catch up to the other side. And put that leg down, bring this one across. And reach away. Push out. Roll it over. Let's come up on your hands and knees. Round and flatten our back. Pull those hips. 
hips towards your chin. Look at your knees. Open up the shoulder blades. So round across the shoulder blades as well. Reverse this. Looking up out of the neck, neck up out of the shoulders. Deep breath. Round it one more time. And up to a flat back, knees out, toes together, arms way high over your head. Drop back. Then take your hands, put them together, and bring them behind your head. And you're going to find those elbows where they can sit on the ground and you can put the body weight on them to stretch the back of the arms. Do those triceps. And the stretching is as important as the work to get those pretty good triceps. And know that as we get older, we still have that, okay? Twist over. I know that we want it to go away completely, but that's part of living. The skin is there. Twist. And come forward. But the muscle is there too, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see. Thank you for joining me. Come back often. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you like this workout and you want to do it again. It'll show up in your library. I'll see you next time.